Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my winter essentials. Who else hates winter? I lived in LA for a long time and um, I regret ever leaving. I don't like winter. I like snow for like one day, like on Christmas day, and then I'm done with it. So I, like a lot of people, use products and things to get myself through the winter. So if this is you and you need tips on how to survive the winter, then you're gonna wanna watch this video. Also, I live in Canada, which is like crazy cold. It's just miserable. There's like, I just don't leave the house, so, yeah, I've got a lot of good stuff to survive that from makeup, skincare, fragrance, fun things to do, body care, fashion. I have it all covered. So if you want to see how I survive winter, then just keep watching. As always, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to let everyone know when I upload. And don't forget to follow me on social media to make sure you stay up to date on all my Instagram postings mostly and Snapchat. Still trying to do Snapchat. Okay, let's just get right into this video. So in no particular order, again, I have tons of stuff here that I buy every winter or I bring out every winter. So yeah, the first thing is, and I know this is so basic of me, but it is the Bath and Body Works three wick candles. I never buy these full price because they're always on sale. Like I think they're regularly like $24, but they're always 50% off online. They always have buy one, get one free, like never buy them full price. But my favorite one is winter. It's called winter, but I just have this burning pretty much from morning till night. Um, I've already put a good dent in this one. Okay, so the scents in this one are orange, fir needles, and clove. So this smells like walking through a Christmas tree farm. So because of the fir, it smells like Christmas trees, but there's that warmth to it, like apple cider and mulled wine and... Oh, it just like makes me happy because it makes me think of like the best parts about winter um, are in this candle. It just makes your house smell really, really good and really inviting. So I burn these all day long and they give off heat. So I just feel warm and cozy. So gotta have a candle. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my skin becomes alligator skin in the winter. Like it is dry within minutes of putting on cream. It gets flaky, it gets scaly, it gets like patchy, it gets ashy it just is my skin does not like the winter so in terms of body products i have a couple things i always get in the winter and the first one and this is like a luxury product but this is from lush and this is the rose argan body conditioner so you literally use it like you would condition your hair it smells like roses it's just a thick cream it smells like rose jam that's how they describe it Oh my God, it smells so good. A, the fragrance is amazing. But what you do is you shower, you use soap or your body wash, and then you put this on and you let it sit. So usually I'll do like my face or shave my legs or whatever I'm doing. And you let it sit on your body and absorb in and then you just rinse it off. Okay, not with like extra soap, you just rinse it like you would a conditioner and then you get out of the shower and you pretty much don't even need to put on moisturizer. This makes your skin feel so incredibly soft. So you don't even need the moisturizer. It makes shaving easier. It's like that step in the shower so that you don't have to worry about it when you get out of the shower. But if you're like me and are extra, extra dry, I then go in with the Lush Karma Cream. This is a hand and body lotion. If you guys haven't smelled this, this is my favorite cream, and it's just a white cream. Let me read it. Almond oil, spicy patchouli oil, and sweet orange oil. That's winter. It's like orange, patchouli, uh, almond. It smells like a warm, woodsy fragrance. I absolutely love it. It's a very thin cream, but it packs a big punch. It's not like a thick body butter, but it is so hydrating. It smells good. These two things in combined, you will smell amazing and your skin will never be more hydrated. On top of that, I do like to have a lot more baths. I find I have more baths in the winter, probably because it's freezing out and you get home and you just want to like sit in a hot bath. Um, so I do get the Lush Bath Bomb. Okay, so my favorite one is called Christmas Sweater. It makes your bath bright red, which is kind of funny because it kind of seems like blood, but it's very holiday-like. And this one is like spicy, like it smells like cloves and cinnamon. So I love that. Um, 
Now these do have like oils in them to make your body feel nice, but I do just kind of like the luxury and the scent of them for the bath. So really what's most important, so really what I focus on from Lush are the luxury bath oils. It's the same thing, it's a little circle and you drop it into your bath and it puts oil in your bath. So the one I like is called Floating Island. It smells like vanilla. This is available all year long. It is so glorious. You don't need any of those other creams I just talked about. Put this in your bath, you get out and you feel like you have like argan oil on your skin. Like your skin feels so incredibly silky. So that is my number one thing in the winter because yeah, and it lasts a long time on your body. You just really feel that oiliness and that silk, but like oiliness is the wrong word. It's silkiness. It just feels so luxurious on your body. Keeping with the hydration, uh, my lips get so disgustingly um, chapped. So chapped. My favorite lip balm right now is the GlossierBalm.com. This is so amazingly hydrating. I have the coconut one, which actually makes me feel like summer. But they have a mint one if you want one that's a little bit more like holiday, wintry appropriate. But this so far is the best lip balm that I have ever found. So I have two of them in my purse at all times actually. Now in terms, so that was like body. In terms of skincare for your face, um, one thing I have been loving and using so much are hydrating sheet masks. So usually in the summer I use like mud masks and I get all the gunk out of my face. But in the winter I need the hydration and I need the moisture. And so sheet masks do that because sheet masks are just masks like the fabric soaked in the serum. So so yeah, I use these guys. These are by Sue. I'll leave them listed down below. But like just any hydrating sheet mask. I just lay there in the bath and then you just rub the rest of the serum into your skin and they feel so good. So I do this while I'm in the bath. And yeah, this is like super intensive hydrocell mask, tea tree hydration relief, aloe moisture. Like these are my favorite. Can you tell I like oils? So then I lather my face in this and this is the ordinary 100% organic cold press Moroccan argan oil. Uh, just speaks for itself. It's an argan oil. It's very inexpensive. It's like under $10 and it's pure. I just slap this all over my face. You can put this in your hair, on your body, wherever you want. This is so handy to have, but I love just putting it all over my face. In terms of hair, if your hair is feeling really dry and brittle because of the wind and the snow, um, I recommend using um, a hydrating mask for your hair. My favorite one, and it's very affordable, is by L'Oreal, and this is the L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Mask. Looks like this. Um, I'm almost out of this one. I even think I got it on sale. I feel like a lot of these masks do pretty much the same thing, so why not get an affordable one? I just put this on my soak my hair in this when I'm in the shower or the bath, and I really notice a difference when I wash it out. Um, yes, or I just do a straight up coconut oil hair mask. Where I just put coconut oil in my hair and sleep in it overnight and then rinse it out in the morning, so that's what I do for my hair. A little fashion-y thing, you gotta make sure you get a hat with a pom-pom on it. I've been seeing these everywhere and I gotta say I love them. There was even a place in Toronto where you could like pick your hat color and then pick your pom-pom color and like mix and match. So this one's from Simon's uh, department store. I'll leave it down below, but you definitely need a hat. I never used to wear hats because I thought I was like too cool, but like now they're back in fashion and so get a pom-pom one for sure. If you are looking for a Netflix show, and obviously Netflix will help you survive the winter, I have been watching Peaky Blinders. It is one of my favorite shows right now. I've been binge watching it. It's like a gangster gang movie, but set in like the 1920s um, in England. It's very entertaining. It's cool, the accents and like the action and the costumes and everything like that. So I highly recommend that one. In terms of perfume, if you wanna switch things up for the winter. So this is not really a how to survive winter, but it's like a winter essential for me. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume in the, in the scent. Bourbon, it's just called bourbon. I have the roller ball um, and I use it so much and I've barely gone through it because it's a, just a beautiful fragrance and it's very quality fragrance so you don't need a lot of it um, but this smells like vanilla bourbon patchouli it's very warm and woodsy and it just smells like winter in my opinion the notes are tuberose oak wood and bourbon vanilla it is like sexy it's intoxicating it's warm it's definitely more an evening winter type of thing Love it. I want the full size, but I don't really need it because I got this whole thing so I can go through this. 
Okay, now if you've been waiting for makeup, here it is. Here it is. Keeping with the hydration, I love breasting this one out in the winter and in the summer and every season, but it is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream. I love this stuff. I slap it on with my fingers. It gives you coverage. It gives you a natural radiance without looking too dewy. And it's so hydrating. It's so moisturizing. There's skincare benefits in it. There's an anti-aging hydrating serum. So it just feels so good on your skin in the winter. Favorite palette for like the holidays in the winter is actually an oldie but a goodie. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in the Dolce Vita. Look at this baby. It is so pretty. There's a gold glitter. There's this red cranberry shade. There's a warm brown and then a highlighting shade. It's stunning. It's so gorgeous. This is like a khaki brown. I love this red cranberry. There's some glitter to get you through the holidays and then just a highlighting shade. It like, just to add to your already like big makeup collection, this is like the perfect wintry holiday palette. My new favorite highlighter for the winter is the Stila Heavens Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. Looks like this. It's like a putty. I use my fingers. I have it on today. And why I like it for the winter is because it gives you that glow without looking overdone. There's no glitter. There's no like intense like metallic sheen. So in the winter where it's like you're not getting that kind of bronze sweaty look naturally, your skin is more dry. I do like to use more of a natural highlighter. So this one just does the trick and it's just like a beautiful kind of champagne pink color. I've been using this one nonstop, and since you can use your fingers, it's just so natural. It doesn't like sink into your pores or fine lines or anything like that. Okay, and last but not least, I have a couple lip products for the winter. The first one is an everyday one, and this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. Again, my lips are so dry, so I actually use more glosses and lipsticks and lip balms as opposed to like liquid lipsticks. So this one is a lip balm and this is in the shade Plum. This is just an extremely hydrating lip balm and this just has, I'll put it on a lot here for you, the tiniest tint. But it's got that plummy shade which is just a berry shade that's perfect for the winter but it's so hydrating. It's great for every single day. It keeps your lips hydrated and moisturized, but then adds like a little bit of color so it looks like you have something on the lips. So I highly recommend this one in the winter. And last but not least, the winter to me and the holidays just screams red lipstick. I just love that classic cool tone blue red in the winter. In the summers, I like the orangey reds. But in the holidays in the winter, I like that blue tone red. And my new favorite is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna liquid lipstick in uncensored. I mean, I used it in a tutorial, but like, look at that. Are you ready for this? Like, that is just the perfect holiday winter candy apple red. I absolutely love it. It's still hydrating even though it is a liquid lipstick, um, but I just do like this one a lot. I think it's perfect for the holidays and even continuing on into the winter with that because it's that blue tone cool red. It'll make your teeth look white as well. So that was everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a mashup of everything, skincare, beauty, hair care, fashion, all that kind of stuff. So if you like these kind of videos, let me know because it's something kind of new that I haven't really done on my channel before. Leave some comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.